Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Oxen Free. Well, let's play Oxen Free. But got my own intro. But I digress. What we're gonna be doing today isn't going into the bomb shelter and you know stopping the ghosts and saving the day. We're actually gonna be doing some of the side missions that we could do here, which are two things. First, let's hug him. We'll be back. Oh, I know. A big hug. Give him a big boy hug. Her hug Oof. too. Okay. I. Uh, all right. Yes. Hush, Nona. You're awesome. Hug Jones. I am coming with you. You know. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Hug, no hug them all. Hug everybody. Hug yourself. But first, we're going to be doing the anomalies, which are these tiny little stone rock guys here. So. I do have a guide pulled up off to the side because I honestly don't know where they all are. Let's see, this is... How many is this? Ah, here we go. This is Anomaly. Whoops, sorry. ...is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. Yes. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Oh, that's not creepy at all. So... No. Map. Play the game. Aha! Alright, so we got three anomalies out of twelve. So, uh, let's see. Milner. Go to the Milner outpost. North. But yeah, so what I'm going to be doing today in this episode is going through and getting all the anomalies so you can hear them all. I'm also going to be doing uh, the Adler letters as well, possibly in this episode. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I might do it in two separate episodes because I don't want it to be super, super long. Depends on how long it takes me to get all the, the anomalies. Cause it will take some traveling. The anomalies aren't all together in just one clumped up place. I wish they were. But, you have to go walking around. Now, here in Fort Milner, there was a building before that we said we couldn't get into. Down there? I swear, I, I, was just, I think I just didn't too much Final Fantasy because I swear I saw gold material there. But yeah, it's, there's a room in here. I don't remember which direction it was. I think it was after, after we opened this. Should be in here. I think it was a locked room down this way. And we needed the advanced radio for it. Yeah, here it is. Should be here. Who 
gets the paper with Smee has to hide. The others search for Smee. The one who gets the paper with Smee has to hide. The others... Crazy. And the Japanese Empire. I ask. This is my dear. definitely aren't the first ones to do it crazy okay so now the next anomaly way over here in the campgrounds oh man that's far cross this to the relay point and then down towards the bridge stand and then left okay wait way back by where we found Ren holy moly all right well I'm gonna cut out till I get there and then we're gonna do the radio thingy Alright, so we're here at the campgrounds. This is the site of the next anomaly that we have to find. Apparently, it's in the northwest corner. So, we have to go this way. Be up over there somewhere. Across the bridge. I will probably end up doing a lot of back and forth tracking rather than going, you know, hey, this one's near here, this one's near here, this one's near there. Because I'm just going on the order that I see it on the Wikipedia. <laughs> so, uh, I don't really care for backtracking. I don't mind it either. Ah, there it is is anomaly one uh 91.5 there we go yesterday the remains of four bodies were discovered in two cars submerged west of Cape Mears how the cars got in the water no one huh. nobody knows how they got there I gotta go all the way back towards the army RCS. And that way we can get the next one. Come on. There is another one in here, apparently. Ah, there it is. I think that's it. I think it's this. Listen to that. Bay Chimo, Thresher, Peterhoff, Arizona. Bay Chimo, Thresher, Thresher Peterhoff, Peterhoff, Arizona. Arizona. Interesting. Alright, so according to the Wikipedia. The SS Bachimo was a ghost ship along the Alaskan coast, having been abandoned in 1931. 
The USS Thresher was a nuclear-powered attack submarine that was lost at sea in 1963 during deep diving tests in which 129 crew and shipyard personnel died. The Peterhof was a British ship captured by the Union Navy during the American Civil War and was sunk in 1864 by a fellow Union ship after being mistaken for a blockade runner. Wow, you sunk your own team. Good job, team kill. The USS Arizona was a United States Navy battleship during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. On September 7, 1941, the Arizona was bombed and exploded and sank, killing 1,177 officers and crew members. That's crazy, man. They did really good research on this game just to make sure that, you know, everything was historically accurate. Uh, now I gotta make my way back to the U.S. Army, uh... Like towards Fort Milner. And I need to go to the I think it's the same room where I played the game of like, hey, you know, hangman. I think. It's that same area. But apparently there's an anomaly over there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, sorry about that, I had to yawn in the middle of this transition, but I'm gonna cut out again, we're gonna head back towards the army facility, and then get the anomaly that's back over there. I might go ahead and look ahead and see what's what, so I don't have to go back and forth, because doing this is probably gonna cut out the rest of the Adler letters, and I might have to say that for another episode. I and mean, if I do this episode, it's probably, it might just be short anyway, just because I like having all this stuff together in one episode rather than splitting up like, oh hey, we'll do five Adler letters and then the other five next episode, nah. I'd rather keep everything all at once. So, I'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll, I'll plan it out. i go this way now, but yeah, I will see you guys once we make it to, well, I mean, technically we're already there, so you know what? Forget it, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna cut out the rest. We're, we're already here anyway. Well, we're basically already here. I just need to get to the Army RCS that I need to go down here no down Alex there you go there we go I need to go this way down we go and go I gotta go Do I need to go into the facilities to get to there? I would assume so. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Down here. Facilities to our right, Milner outposts to our left. If I go in here. Right place? I'm trying to remember how this... Yes, here we go. Army RCS. I need to come to Fort Milliner and I can take this thing around. Oh, whoa, an Adler letter. She... Well, Maggie brought her friend Anna here to help, I guess. When people in the comms department began transferring off, I was able to convince my higher-ups, including, coincidentally, one eventual army passenger aboard the Kanaloa, Henry Griffin, to bring Anna on board as a replacement. Anna had been working in the broadcasting, so it made enough sense to the upper ranks. Incidentally, when I dream, it usually did during this time period to miss the change. I'm trying to prevent Anna from ever coming. So maybe that glowing thing was an Adler letter. When you accidentally find the Adler letter without even using the guide. That was strange. 
But yeah, apparently that is a quote by a doctor in the tw early 20th century named Albert Abrams about a pseudo treatment called radiesthesia. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I saw something glowing over here. Aha! Hmm. The communication school here taught them how to make codes. Recruits learned communications technology here, and several others learned code breaking. It's true. But due to my aptitude in math and mechanical engineering, I was assigned to code making, specifically with ciphers which conceal projects from even other government agencies. It was a job I grew increasingly uncomfortable with, but my keen interest in radio science had me pulling double duty as a comms officer. I remember one of the Kanaloa engineers, Francis, calling me a radio woman. As far as he knew, it was my only job. Okay, so I've already found two Adler letters, which is pretty cool, actually. I did not intend to find any of them, yet. Ah, no. That doesn't show up. Nearly put up my Steam information. That one, I did that one. Next two that I think I'm gonna hit up are gonna be here at the bridge stand. So I need to go down towards Harden Tower. I think I could do that, right? Go towards Harden Tower. Apparently there's one in here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay, I see it. It goes this way. Aha! George three. Ah, it'll be good having somebody else here to watch after the grounds, Bill. I was at Park Warden in Grants Pass, so. This will be old hat to me. William Marshall, a local park ranger working in Edwards Forest, killed himself today after what his wife describes as a years-long battle with depression. His body was found hanging from a tree in the... Yikes. Alright, get up. Alex. Come on, Alex. Thank you, Jesus. Next two we're going to are going to be located at Bridge Stand, which is right over here. So... There's one on the far south end of Bridge Stand, and I'm saying south as in based on your screen, with the top half of your screen being north, the left being west, the right being east, and then the bottom being south. One way down here on the south end. Not down on this path, but over here. It's in the southwest corner. There it is. Oh, and an Adler letter. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? Hmm. My belief, bolstered by Anna's and mine's research conducted largely at the Catbird Station where interruptions are rare, is that the men and women of the USS were Cana of the USS Canaloa were separated from our dimensional existence by the implosion of a submarine's nuclear reactor. I identified one passenger, Henry, by his call sign, and his confused diction and reliance on game logic says to me that their emotional states, if not mental, have been reduced to that of children. I thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. Oh, a thought I cling to when I envision Anna's demise. Let 
mean... Can I already get this one? I don't remember if I got that one. I think I got that one because the stone's going red. Uh, maybe? I don't remember doing that one, honestly. It said I got two, and I don't even know which two I got. But whatever. Um, there's another anomaly up here. There it is. I did do this one. What does the map say? 8 anomalies out of 12? I really want to check this one again. Like, I, I, I don't understand what's going on with it. Because if I got that one earlier, because I remember the Bobby Dunbar, and I was like, oh man, the mysterious thing about Bob, the mysterious experience of Bobby Dunbar. And. Don't remember hearing anything about this one. Because according to this, this one should be. This is. 99 Could be hearing something Huh Okay, so apparently this might be a bug Because for the anomaly to register when you walk by it It should have white text over it Which means I technically haven't gotten that one but it also should mean I haven't gotten the Bobby Dunbar one yet either, because there's no white text over it. Huh. Let me see, if it didn't register Bobby Dunbar, that's one. Didn't register this last one, which would make two. Yeah, see, there's no way to... Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. <laughs> Yeah, it's not registering. Okay, so that's two. Which means if I did get those two registered, I'd be at ten. And I'm only missing two more. But I think I got the one in Fort Milner, which is the firing range one. I honestly don't remember if I did. I think I did. Which is... It says, uh, something about radio waves being absorbed by people, yada yada yada. Hmm. So, I don't know if it counted them or not, maybe it did. So, let's say we did the Fort Milner one. Next is the relay point.
relay point, two in Epiphany Fields, and then one at Discovery Cliffs. Where's relay point? That's above us. Okay, so we need to go deeper. Oh, that's where Ren was. Oh man, I could have gotten that earlier. Man, when I was walking between the fort and... Okay, whatever. Go to relay point now. Go across the bridge. Go up. And go to relay point. And this is how I can get the last possibly three anomalies. So the grave one, what it says, I don't know if I could even get it to work because the thing is just being stupid. The one at the grave, it's a, uh, says easy three. And then in a man's voice, it says, if indeed he find fault with anything or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently, lest perchance God has sent him for this very thing. And apparently it's a quote from St. Benedict's Rule for Monasteries. So that's from there, and that's just what it is. A quote from there, which is weird. But I digress. We're going to do the relay point one. I'm going to go up past these campgrounds that I'm in. All the way back up to where Ren was and the weird spooky ghost shadow things, which I swear I still have eyes. We're gonna move right on beyond that because that's creepy. But yeah, while I was walking back and forth between Fort Milner and here, there was a wishing well. I should have been there. There was actually an anomaly there that I could have picked up, which is anomaly 106.7. You pick up that anomaly, and there's apparently three more, two in Epiphany Fields, one at the cliffs, and then I think that'll be it for this episode of Oxen Free. I mean, I did accidentally pick up like three Adler letters. Or was it two, maybe? I don't know. Let me see. Picked up one at the army base, picked up one technically at Fort Miltner. Or Fort Milner. That's two. I think I only picked up two. Whatever. I picked up a few other letters. So we grab those. And then we're finishing up the anomalies. I'm sorry that I couldn't hear the graveyard one. And for whatever reason, the Bobby Dunbar one wasn't registering. But that's a thing. The relay point is up here. Wishing Well is down that set of steps. Which, technically, I don't even need to go down. I could just go straight right across. Should be right across from there. Alex, your controls are janky today. This is the wishing well. Oh, there's an Adler they, letter here. Um, Maggie and Anna tried to bring the soldiers back in the cave. After stealing equipment from this relay station, Anna and I entered a cave just before dawn to try and communicate directly with the, with the crew of the USS Canaloa. We successfully tuned in to open the source of temporal terror and spoke, albeit briefly, to Henry Griffin, the S an SOC sergeant who died on the sub, but the power of one my dear Anna and she was absorbed into its ridge. All that remains now is a flickering hue of a partially open gate, a window to a perpendicular space that seems to have augmented the calls, submarine's call. Of all my regrets, perhaps knowing that Anna's last vision of me was fleeing from her in terror. Oh man. The shame. The west of the well. Kind of big. Then on this side? Ah. There we go. Hey, I want to hear it. on objects, places, and persons on magnetic tape, taking into consideration the impossibility of... Interesting. Teddy also registered image... Alright, we're going to Epiphany Fields. Did that register? Because I didn't see the white text. Nine. Okay. So Epiphany Fields... 
Should be able to get to from up here, right? I think. Maybe not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the rest. I'm going to jump to Epiphany Fields and then to the Discovery Cliffs. Because that's it. I only got three anomalies left and they're only located in two spaces. So I'm going to cut out to there. Got a bit of a hike to make it there. But yeah, I will catch you guys in just a moment. And I will see you there in Epiphany Fields. Alright, so apparently I didn't get this one yet. Incident upon a body of radio waves travel forever until it is absorbed by matter or a person. Hmm. It's the waves, we think. Oh, the radio waves. Okay. Because if radio waves travel forever, that's maybe that's how they're able to communicate. They communicate through the radio waves. Okay, this is... Interesting. Alright, so we got the one above the bomb shelter already. So I gotta go all the way down here. Let me see, alright, 10. lighthouse there should be another one aha Saw that Adler letter. Let me go grab that. I got a feeling it's in there, in that building. Because that's the an advanced lock. There'd have to be something in there for an advanced lock to be there. The Adler letter right here. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. The similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it, I think, is the part of the reason why. I said yes when the army recruited me out of college despite my family's protest. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled by the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made after the daughter of the Canaloa crewman, Francis Salter, asked. I don't know why. A marker maybe for the hope that people once held. Okay, I read that like absolute garbage. Don't judge me. Uh. The last one should be in here, actually. Unless there's like an Adler letter in here. Alright, there we go. There it is, Anomaly. Jeez.
There we go. That's creepy. But we've got all the anomalies, guys. Okay, so it did count the other one. That was weird. But whatever. We did it. We got all the anomalies. Now we need to get the Adler letters. Let me see how many we need. What Adler letters do we need? How many do we need? Uh, open up this. No, that's the wrong button. Oh. Oh. Aha, letters. We've got one, two, oh man, we got a lot more letters than I thought. We got six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters left to go, guys. But for now, I will leave that for the next episode of Let's Play Oxen Free. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. We did a surprising a lot amount of traveling, but we got all 12 anomalies. I feel great right now. But other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Play Oxen Free. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't, and join the Curly Crew. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.